What up, YouTube? Team Moves here. Since this month I am doing reviews for Christmas films, here is my review for a classic, and that is the 1947 Christmas uh, America classic, simply titled America on Dirty Fourth Street. Now, of course, this movie got released all the way back in 1947. Uh, you know, uh, starring Edmund Gwen as Santa Claus. You had Natalie Wood as a um, as a seven-year-old named uh, Susan, who is trying to prove that uh, you know, Santa is real and stuff. And so, you know, uh, you've got uh, Edmund Gwen, uh, who pretty much portrays this old guy uh, who is going by the name of Chris Kringle. But he, has, of course, uh, fills in for a toxic uh, Santa Claus at the Macy's Day Game and they Parade because, of course, Santa Claus is a big part of the Macy's Parade. And so uh, Kringo, you know, of course, uh, proves to be uh, such a hit um, that he is soon appearing regularly um, at, like, uh, at the main store in uh, Midtown Manhattan. But, you know, Chris Kringo's uh, surprises customers and employees. Uh, claiming that he is really Santa, so uh, it lets it also leads to this uh, court case to determine his uh, mental health and proving that he's not really uh, you know the jolly old guy and all. Uh, you got John Payne who portrays uh, who portrays uh, the lawyer uh, Fred Gelly. Uh, you got Maureen um, O'Hare who portrays uh, Doris Walker, who is. You know, this a tough-minded single uh, mother who just who uh, must like juggle a uh, demanding job, uh, coordinating the uh, basis prey uh, with the uh, regards of uh, you know parenthood as well, and in an effort to uh, shield her seven-year-old daughter uh, Susan, portrayed by Natalie Wood, from the delusion um, that Arthur stems from uh, dash uh, from uh, you know dash dreams and all, and. You know, Chris Kringle, of course, may have gone AWOL from uh, this from a local uh, retirement uh, home, but after he, uh, like I said, he uh, subs for a uh, drunken Santa at um, Macy's, and and a man, and he pretty much, like I said, he insists he is the real deal, and many of Macy's uh, employees, including uh, Dor including the Doris character, thinks he's insane, but lawyer uh, Fred Galley, portrayed by uh, John Payne, Who's of course Doris's new uh, boyfriend here? Does it question uh, Chris' identity and uh, winds up defending him at a uh, co competitive's uh, hearing that ends up uh, becoming a course uh, celebrant in Manhattan? And Susan, of course, however, um, you know, ends up remaining uh, the uh, toughest to uh, convince, and uh, Chris, you know, fears that he can't uh, grant her a special Christmas wish. And the film is also directed by uh, um, George Cena, who did a pretty good job at directing. I did like the uh, the sweet moments between uh, Chris Kring, you know, between other uh, Chris Kring of the character and uh, and um, Natalie Wood here. I thought Natalie Wood was terrific. I mean, of course, this was like her uh, her first major role, and then of course uh, she grew up to do stuff like West Side Story and all that. But, uh, yeah, I thought Susan Walker, uh, the Susan Walker character that Natalie Wood played was pretty, uh, good. I mean, this film is, it's a classic. You know, it got released in 1947. <laughs> you know, it, it gets shown around Christmas time or pretty much, uh, almost every year. And it's got a couple of, uh, Oscar, um, as well. It, of course, it got nominated for, uh, Best Picture. Best Supporting Actor was not, um, by Edmund uh, Gwen. Uh, of course, it won Best Adapted uh, Screenplay. And, of course, uh, won, it pretty much uh, got nominated uh, for four awards. But won three Best Adapted Screenplay, Supporting Actor, and uh, Best Story. It was nominated for Best Picture, so there's that too. Uh, yeah, Miracle on Dark Forestry is a timeless classic. Uh, try and prove, of course, um, it's always interesting to see like, them try to uh, prove that Santa is uh, the real deal. And O'Hare and Payne are very delightful as a romantic leads, but its supporting cast is also really solid. Uh, you got the likes of uh, Jerome uh, Cohen, Jean Lockhart, a uh, famed I Love Lucy actor, a uh, Wim uh, Frawley. Yeah, I mean, also I always like the um, the Thanksgiving Day Parade uh, scene. I mean, shows how uh, how far we came from the, um, the Macy's Parade, you know. 
I always keep forgetting how old the Macy's Parade was. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I of course, live in New York City, so it's always really cool passing by Macy's, knowing um, Macy's was a big deal in uh, the original America on that fortune. But uh, anyway, yeah, the uh, court case scene is pretty decent. Performances by Gwen uh, was great. You know, uh, Maureen O'Hara, Natalie Wood. I mean, there's lots of really great actors who have portrayed the uh, Jolly Saint Nick. Ed McGuinn is definitely a real solid one. Of course, they did do a remake as well, which I'm actually going to do, um, do a separate review for that once I'm done with this video. But, uh, yeah, if you guys never really seen the original Miragon Day Fortnite, it's a classic. You know, great dialogue, really good script, great direction. I mean, it's a pretty well one, got really sued. Uh, let me pull how much it made. Box office. Yeah, maybe about uh, 2.7 million. Not bad for uh, for that time. And of course, it has a 96 upper sound rides and mails. And wow, it's on wow, it's on uh, Disney Plus. I gotta rewatch that film again. It's been a while, but anyway, yeah, the original Mayor Gone Dark Four Street. It's a Christmas film that still holds up. And yeah, if you guys haven't really seen it, I say give it a shot. Y you'll enjoy it. Anyway, uh, let me leave with you guys. Have you ever seen the original Mayor Gone Dark Four Street? If so, what's your of it? Did you like it? Uh, what's some of your favorite parts, moments? Drop comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This is Simu Sayon.